If today is your first time of watching my tutorial on this channel, simply click on subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified on my every post on this channel. Here I'll be teaching you how to make your original image turn into uh, a painting. So from the looks it's gonna look like a real painting. So let's begin by importing our image. So you select it from the folder. But now as you can see the Autodesk is stopping so I have to share the screen into two. Then import the gallery below. So from there I'm going to share the image from the gallery into Autodex. Right here the image is showing in, in the layer but it's not showing here in the worksheet so I dare go and click on transform that's where you're gonna find the image then I have to zoom it to full or fill up the page before I start drawing Next, you have to select eraser brush and, uh, and uh, next I clean off the background as usual because this is smudge painting. Here after cleaning, duplicate the image, just tap it and uh, duplicate, click on duplicate above, then this one below, you have to switch off the eye for the one at the top to show, so if I switch off the eye of that top, you see it disappears. Next here I select smudge brush to smoothen the skin and the clothing. But during this, I'm not going to smudge it too hard. Just going to touch it left, right, left, right, like that. Just like this. So that's how I'm going to do it so that it won't look very hard. So next is um, cutting off the clothes and the eyes. So I use eraser brush for that layer at the top. 
but for me to see what I'm doing, I just click on that background and uh, change the color. Create a new layer above and select this uh, calligraphy pen tool. Yeah, that's fountain pen. And um, draw out a color above the surface on that new layer. Selecting this particular color which I am showing now. This you reduce the opacity and zoom in to cut out the shape of the face on that color layer. So you cut out the face and the eyes also. And after cutting you have to increase back the opacity and duplicate the image next is to set that layer to a perfect blend mode but when putting that blend mode if you find it that it's not still too okay you can increase the duplication of the layers so yeah, I use it two layers. But not still satisfied, so I have to duplicate it. I have to increase that layer again. Yeah, I'm reducing opacity to check how it will look on these two layers. So when not still satisfied, I, I will still have to duplicate the layers and change the plan mode of the new layers.
Now at this area below, select that last layer and create a new layer. Then select this pin, uh, pin brush or ball pen tool. And uh, that will be for the eyes. I'm going to create a new eye for this image. So there you create, change the color to white. And then apply your shades. Sorry, it tint it a little. Next, select pen tool and create a new layer. Remember to change your color to black for this uh, action. So to have a good proportion for the eyes, you have to switch on the one below that last one and. Uh, Go back to the top layer and uh, select gu guides. This one will help you to get the accurate measurement of the eyes. So you have to set the circle to the actual shape of the eyes. So as you're trying, you duplicate that layer and then click on transform. Yeah, you duplicate, duplicate and Click on transform and I move that duplicated layer to the other side of the eye. So from here now I merge and I go back to shade the eyes. Next, create a layer above those color face color layers. Select a pen tool and smudge brush. Then use your color picker tool to select the lightest area of the face. So yeah, you have to zoom in to get it. So you can just look from here to select the color increase it a little bit to be brighter and then you start giving it highlights but not that much just give it to few areas of the face and after which you've done you have to use your smudge brush to blend the edges of those outlines like the highlights Next is to create a new layer for the eyebrow and the eyelashes. So select your pen tool and draw out the lashes and the eyebrow. And set blend mode to multiply.
Next here we are creating a new layer and that will be the outline of the clothing the shirt yes that will be for the shirt so we are using a bigger brush pen to draw that and after that we go into the painting that we are talking about so we use this tool go back and um, draw out the out the outer, yeah, outer area of the clothes and ensure your line to be straight and then select a smaller brush tool to draw the inner you don't need the lines to be actually straight, just give it like a sketch. Just draw it out like a sketch. And after which you are done, you set blend mode of that to multiply. Next, we are going to work on the lips. So, here I select a perfect color for the lip and then set the first layer to multiply and the other layer below to soft light and uh, I adjust the color to a perfect match. Now, we are going to the painting proper then you have to create a new layer and select this pastel brush tool below so just scroll down and find it so you can use any of the tool to paint the area of the clothes any of the tool which you wish to use so now just watch what I do here and apply them to your work. So over there now you create a new layer and start applying your colors gradually. 
So we are using different colors and different shades that will match with the image on your worksheet. Next here that um, we're working on is the background. So I just go below to that last image, the empty one, and uh, select another pen tool, sorry, another brush tool. And uh, I start to create a background for this image. So here is the face, I create a new layer for it and use that uh, pastel brush tool and then select the color that matches with the face and I start applying. Well, I hope this tutorial was pretty helpful. So try subscribe on the channel for more videos to come on your screen and the uh, next tutorial will be on purely painting and not smudge thanks for watching